815 with today's holiday consumer this morning. The in-person shopping experience in 2020, like everything else, is changing. Yeah, even more people than normal are choosing to avoid stores. But if you do plan on heading out, how will things look and how can you stay safe? And we know who knows. The woman who's <laughs> always ready with the answers, Vicki Wynn. Hey, Vicki. Hi, good morning, everyone. She created Bocas. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't, but I'm trying to make it a thing. You're helping me. You're helping me. Many stores and malls are really introducing new safety measures this year to give shoppers a peace of mind. And this morning, we're going to show you what to expect from new reservation systems to Santa's new look. Tis the season when malls are normally crowded with shoppers. But the coronavirus is changing that. 80% of consumers plan to shop online, and less than half of all holiday shopping will be done in stores. In the wake of the pandemic, major retailers like Best Buy, Gap, Foot Locker, and others are rethinking their in-store shopping experience with a focus on safety. I'm taking you behind the scenes at the Sono Collection Shopping Center here in Norwalk, Connecticut. Right away, you'll see they've installed a new way to open the door, so you don't even have to use your hands. At many malls, you'll notice signs reminding shoppers to wear a mask and stay socially distanced. Matt Seebeck is the senior general manager here. Matt, how are you helping shoppers to feel safe this season? You know, Brookfield Properties has over 150 shopping centers. The safety of our guests and anyone who walks through our doors has always been our number one priority. What are some of the things people won't see that are contributing to a safer atmosphere? We've changed all of the filters in our HVAC units to MERV 13. All the recycled air goes through a thicker and a less porous filter that has historically been used in a hospital setting. And it doesn't stop there. You'll see hand sanitizer stations and cleaning crews working their way through the mall. They've removed some of the chairs from the common spaces to discourage people from gathering, and the chairs that do remain are socially distanced. Here at this store, the dressing rooms are open. However, at some stores, they have closed because of COVID concerns. You'll find at many of those stores, they've extended the return policy so you can try your clothes on in the comfort of your home. And some retailers are offering new ways to shop. If the store looks crowded or there's a line and you don't want to wait, some stores are offering a QR code. Just scan it, open the link, and shop right from your phone. But the biggest change this holiday shopping season... Whoa, 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 whoa. Happy holidays! A socially distant visit with Santa. Awesome. Naughty or nice, Santa might be sitting behind a wall of plastic. Here at this mall, they've created a snow globe for Santa. While the kids won't be able to sit in Santa's lap, there's still plenty of space for mom and dad to take pictures from a safe distance. There's also a new way to limit the number of shoppers inside a store. To reduce capacity in stores, some retailers are allowing shoppers to reserve a time when it's less crowded. Here at this mall, they're using Spot Holder. Before you arrive, reserve a spot online, or if you're already at the mall, use your camera to scan a barcode at a participating retailer to pick a time that works for you. Oh, got my text that says they're ready to check me in. Target also offering reservations at stores nationwide. I'm here at Target where they've launched a new service to help holiday shoppers get what they need without having to wait in a long line. Just go to Target.com slash line to see if there's a line outside your local store. Enter your cell number and group size and you'll get an alert when it's your turn to enter the store. With your reservation, you can walk right in. Carts are sanitized after every use and hand sanitizer stations are placed throughout the store. Target is also offering new ways for customers to check out. When it's time to pay, you can skip the register. Just look for a Target employee and ask if they have my checkout. Okay. It's nice to not have to wait in the line. Right. Retailers reimagining holiday shopping to keep you safe while you spend. And the CDC recommends that if you are shopping in person, do it during hours when fewer people will be in the store early morning or in the evening. And you should also probably just touch the items that you plan to buy. And of course, when you are paying for your items, try to use contactless oh. payment options. Oh. And when you leave the store, thoroughly sanitize your hands. And always a reminder, if you are feeling sick, just stay home and do your shopping online. A lot of parents sometimes love to bring their kids shopping because it's something to do. Uh, but you say leave the kids at home. Well, it is a fun thing to do, yeah. go shopping during the holidays. So one thing to think about is just being in and out as quickly wow. as possible. So if you can browse online, make your list, and then go in with the laser focus, make sure they have that item in stock. So if you want to bring your little ones, 
you can just don't spend a lot of time lingering in the store. Right. And masks for all. Yes, Got always. It. All right, big Racist. thanks. Thank you, Vicky. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving, though. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thank you. We know you had Thanksgiving two weeks ago. We did. We did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to, like, we decided to buckle down and just do it again. Oh, I love it. Okay, so, uh, let's get <laughs>